it's 5.41, but I got up at 4.30, and it's Sunday, and I normally start my Sundays off around 4.30 and work out and um, go to the gym. Um, sometimes I work out at home on Sundays, but um, it's kind of nice to get a change of scenery on the workout. So I'm headed to the gym right now, and then I'm going to come home, and I think I might prep lunch. It's raining today, so I might make some soup and salad and some bread, and then um, we'll head to church. So this is our regular Sundays on how we do um, Sunday, and I was kind of out later last night, so I didn't feel like prepping dinner for today. So if I'm gonna cook at home, I always prep it Saturday night, but I didn't feel like it last night. So if I feel like it when I get home from the gym, I'll prep um, our lunch and I have soup that I'm gonna make. And then if I don't feel like doing that, then we'll just go out to eat. So it depends on how I feel. So we'll see about the, the lunch schedule, so. Okay, yeah, so let's go get my workout in and get home and maybe start lunch. There's usually the same people here this early in the morning or nobody but today there is a girl running and I can't I don't recognize the other car so That's what my mornings look like when I go to the gym. I showed you guys a little bit of my strength training I do. And then I got about four miles in and now I'm gonna head home and it's basically seven. So I'm gonna go home and probably wash my hands and then probably start the soup because I bought the stuff for soup um, in my grocery order the other day and it's the copycat version of pasta fagioli and um, I bought salad and bread and it's rainy and I kind of already had it in my mind if it's raining I'll make the soup if it's not then we'll go to get sub sandwiches or something but um, I think I'll go home and start that soup and then which doesn't take long at all and then I'll grab a shower or a bath and then either make me another cup of coffee or go lay down for about 30 minutes. So anyway, so far this is my typical Sunday and they're busy and they seem long to me. So probably because I get up so early. Okay, so I'm home and I've got my sausage in the pan. I've got my petite Italian style diced tomatoes. I guess since with all the food food shortage at Walmart and stuff, they didn't give me my tomato sauce, which I didn't realize. So I'm just gonna substitute for spaghetti sauce, which is Italian style anyway, so I think it'll be fine. So, fingers crossed. I'm gonna cut my onion up. Um, I have my frozen celery. <clears throat> and then I just have, I have frozen carrots, but I, I bought these and they were already out, so I'm just gonna use these. I have my pasta going. My goal is to get at least the soup made and then if I can shoot for the salad but I like to try to prep on Saturday nights but since we got home kind of later I just didn't feel like prepping dinner so or lunch pasta fagioli um, coffee cat actually really good to be honest I think it's better than Olive Garden's 
my opinion. I mean, I'm copying it, but I just, maybe I add a little more flavoring to it, I don't know. And I always pre-cut my celery and carrots too and freeze them, so. I'm gonna get my pot ready with my chicken boy on and stuff going on that. That way all I have to do is just add it together. And I, I look at a recipe, but I don't really look at a recipe. I kind of just try to remember, I mean, I'm following a recipe, but I try to just uh, wing it by memory, so. Hopefully it's not too scattered for you. It calls for three cups of water, but I always double that because I don't feel like it's enough broth. So I kind of just tweak it a little bit and um, make it to my liking. Oops. Changing my shirt because I get cold after I work out. So um, I did wash my hands, so I'm good to go there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes to my water. My carrots are already cooked, so I'm not gonna have to saute those down. I have my onions and celery going. I cut my cans up littler in the, in the can like this. Just cut them up, instead of having to dirty up the cutting board. And then it's just diced smaller for your soups. See, just those carrots are literally diced up so nicely. I'm kinda nervous about using the spaghetti sauce. I don't have any Tomato sauce, I can't believe I don't. I'm gonna check one more time. I don't, so we're gonna have to just see if this will work. Shouldn't be too bad, right? Salad's all done. Looks good, huh? finished product and it took me about 30 minutes to make and it tastes good and it looks pretty. I put a little grated Parmesan cheese on top and we'll add that to our bowls and yeah it looks really good don't it and we'll have this for two days. Pasta, e fagioli, copycat, Olive Garden. Okay, I'm wearing a dress I got from Ruli, and they still have it, I believe, and I'm wearing a medium in it. It's like a eggplant color, and then I threw a cardigan over it, because I cut the sleeves off, and this is from Target, and then the shoes are free people, and they're like a, kind of an odd purple, but I, I feel like it all pulls together nicely, so. I wore it last night with flats, but today for church I'm wearing these. And then my necklace is made by Mary, and my sister-in-law had it, and I absolutely loved it. So I ordered one. Um, this is my Sunday. Uh -huh. Like a wild maniac into church. Okay, we just got home from church, and just kind of heating the soup up a little bit. I'll show it to you guys in a minute. It smells delicious. I don't... I think everyone seems to be more hungry on a Sunday afternoon. Put the bread in the oven. Bowl, 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 yeah, get your bowls, get your drinks and stuff. Like an hour or two. You preached an hour or two? Did you preach two hours, Violet? You did? Yeah. You did. The salad I made, the bread's out of the oven. Looks delicious. Looks amazing. We are hungry from being in church, so oh, yes. let's get, we're going to get to eating. So I'm going to start on the dishes, get all this cleaned up. They've ate quite a bit of soup, half of it, all the salad, and almost all the bread.
So I got the kitchen cleaned up, cookies are in the oven, and the girls are watching Still Veggie Tales, and Titus is asleep. He's obviously got his sermon ready for tonight, so I'll show you. <laughs> so it's Sunday night and usually I take my own car on Sunday nights and it's 4.57 we have three minutes to make it to church and file it always changes her clothes huh so this is the third time Violet's changed her clothes and now she just hopped out of the car to go change her shoes so Oh, he wants to know. Vivian's watching. What are you watching, Dad? Veggie Tales. I'm watching it too. It's Lord of the Rings, but it's but Smeagol's called. Oh, it's Lord of the Beans. Oh, Lord of the Beans. No change. Okay, cool. Okay, so we just got home from church, and um, it's about eight twenty, eight twenty-ish something, and. We had a really good church service, and then um, we had uh, food after church tonight in our little back room. And so the kids really enjoyed that, and I, I enjoyed it too. It was nice to visit. And um, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this day. Um, it's just a really simple day, just a normal Sunday for us, how we spend our Sundays. The only thing different is either I don't cook and we go out, or I cook and we eat at home. So today we ate at home. But um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, um, please consider doing so. We appreciate it. And I just hope you enjoyed simple moments of our Sunday. And I'm just thankful that we um, have the opportunity to go to church and be encouraged through the word and through singing and testimonies um, that God has everything in control in our lives if we allow it and in the world. So be encouraged that God um, sees every detail of our lives and he, um, nothing escapes his notice. So I'm going to bed tonight with hope that um, God is in control of our family and um, every detail of our lives. So hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and we love and appreciate you guys and we hope you guys come back for more. Mm -hmm.